everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Torchwood, Season 1, Episode 7, Greeks Bearing Gifts. I loved it. I thought it was actually a really interesting story, and it kind of brings up some interesting questions. Like, if you had the ability to read other people's minds, would you? And I mean, we've seen all sorts of stuff like this going from, like, like messed up and this is a good example of like the really gritty type of story to more of comedies like what women want and stuff like that so going all the way back to cardiff 1812 and we see like this woman getting shot and from there you can already tell like okay with torchwood it's not gonna be what it seems gwen and owen are i already absolutely hate them like Gwen was kind of the main character like from the start of the series she was the one that you as the viewer are supposed to identify with because she doesn't know what's going on but now I absolutely hate her I don't like her and Owen I just I'm instantly like all of the the character development is just plummeting for me Tosh is actually pretty interesting I still really like her Yanto was rough with the cyber woman, but he's so adorable you can't help but still like him, which I think is the only reason he's still on the team. Anyway, Gwen and Owen are the cutesy thing is overly done. It is too much. So already I'm kind of done with it. Some woman randomly comes up to Tosh in a bar, gives her a pendant, she can read minds. Already shit's losing, shit's just going crazy. All sorts of stuff. Once they start making out again, it's like, why Why is this a thing? Like, it's such a weird episode, and parts of it I, I don't like. And it's, those are the parts where it's like, this just seems really odd to me. But, like, the overall concept I love, where Tosh tries to tell Owen and Gwen about it. And they're just yakking at each other in their own minds. And Tosh is like, forget it. And just leaves. So we get stuff like that. Tosh has the moment where, like, she hears this guy who's going to go kill people, follows him, realizes he's going to kill his ex-wife and his child, and stops him. So we start to get some interesting stuff from there. Uh, let's see, Jack has the line of, I want, do you have that list for me to give to Unit? Anybody who's watched classic Doctor Who knows who Unit is. I don't think we've seen them yet in Doctor Who, but it's still a great shout-out. I absolutely love that one. They... Owen's trying to figure out this the skeleton remains that they find and he's like well what does the hole look like to you and she's like like that thing that burst out of John Hurt love that reference especially since John Hurt is in Doctor Who later on so love that one it was great we find the interesting moment that Tosh cannot hear Jack's thoughts she even says the line it's like you're dead so more to add to the mystery of Jack which is kind of weird like the Jack in this show is so different than the Jack in Doctor Who. Like, it, he has moments that are super cute, but they're like almost two different people. Uh, we find out Mary is an alien. Big fucking surprise. Nobody's shocked. And it turns out, going back to the flashback in the very beginning, like, she was the alien, but the guard was not actually there to, like, rape her as it was made to seem. He was actually there to stop her. He was the alien because she was a, a convict, and he was there to get her. So, lots of really interesting stories. It'll be kind of interesting to see how Tosh works her way through this and dealing with Gwen and Owen. Lots of development. I really did enjoy it. I thought it was a good episode curious what you guys think let me know and i'll see you guys next time for they keep killing Susie.